Howdy y'all, Dale here. I'm super excited. My fig cuttings that I ordered came in. So let's get figgy with it. Okay, y'all, we're back. So as I said, my fig cuttings came in the mail. I don't know if you've ever ordered fig cuttings. I never had before this. And I did research online about ordering fig cuttings, and they normally come in in like a little stick, bare, you know, no leaves, no roots, anything like that. And you root them yourself. So I looked around at many different uh, websites that were selling fig cuttings, just randomly picked one, made my order, and two days after I made my order, I started thinking, let me check out this site, uh, you know, and see what they're actually like, like most people would have did before making their order. Not me. I waited until two days after the order was made. And it got me a little scared uh, because all the reviews for this site were not good. They were, they were very unkind reviews. And I was like, oh, well. This is going to be a long bust. Well, it turns out, y'all ignore the noise. Bella is eating her food, Jezebel, and she's a noisy eater. So, uh, yeah, I figured after seeing all the bad reviews, this was going to be a bust of an attempt. Well, my big cuttings came in. And I must say, all those bad reviews I saw online were either incorrect or they were people that had an experience nothing like mine. This is my first fig cutting, the LSU Purple Fig Go Tigers. As you can see, it's not a stick. It's an actual baby tree, which is not what cuttings are supposed to be. So that's my LSU Purple Fig. Next is my... Magnolia fig. You know, magnolias are big in Louisiana. I think it's like our state flower. But as you can see, leaves, it's a baby tree. You know, whatever. Now, my third one, I guess, is I don't even know how you say this L A T T A R V L A. La Tarva. I have no idea. As you can see, this one doesn't have as many leaves. It's got a little node up here and a little node right here. This is kind of what most, according to my research, fig cuttings look like, like this. So I was pleasantly surprised to get what is still better than most of the examples I've seen and two little baby trees. Now, the other thing I'm going to say about this company, other than the stuff coming in surprisingly well and more grown than it was supposed to be, uh, the shipment I ordered on a Friday, it was at my house the following Friday. So it came seven days. It came two. Uh, so always kind of beware. Take it with a grain of salt, the reviews you see online. And I'm going to get these potted up and show you what to do next. Okay, guys. So I'm back and the little fig babies are potted up. The magnolia, the LSU purple, and the laterula, whatever it is. So when it comes to potting, you just want to use a pot that is not too large. The fig trees would rather be transplanted later on as they get bigger than being just stuck in a pot that's 10 sizes too big and they're just left to stew or whatever. So, and use a good, well-draining, organic potting soil. This is what I use today. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's the only one that was organic at Walmart today. And just make sure your drain holes are in your pots. So, y'all, take care, be good, and I'll see you on the next video. There's plenty coming up. Go Tigers!